Welcome guys, namaste. I'm Cheryl and I'm living here in South Georgia on St. Simons Island. And I thought it'd be really fun today to take an adventure from right where I'm living, which is on the marsh. So one of Georgia's five habitats is the marshland. So we're gonna take a nice adventure today on a kayak through the marshlands and through the river and um, just to enjoy a nice yoga journey. So let's start together. Can you come to seated on your yoga mat? Crisscross your legs and bring your hands to your heart. Now close your eyes for a moment and I want you to imagine it's a chilly start to the day. So you know when it's cold outside and you can see your breath coming out through your mouth. I like to call it dragon's breath. So you can see the vapors of your breath as you breathe out. So we're gonna take a few deep breaths together and just ground ourselves ready for our yoga journey. But as you breathe out, I want you to make the sound of with your out breath. And imagine as you close your eyes in your mind's eye, can you see that dragon breath coming out on a chilly morning? Imagine you're here with me on St. Simon's Island. Let's try together. So breathe in, into the belly, into the heart. Breathe out. Good, breathe in, fill the belly, fill the heart. Breathe out. Let's try it two more times, biggest breath in. Breathe out. One more of that, deep breath. And those vapors out through the mouth. Excellent, open your eyes, rub your hands together as though it's chilly outside, create some heat between your palms. Excellent. And then let's see if we can come all the way to standing for a moment. So bring your hands onto your head. See if you can root down through your feet. My doggies are coming to help me come all the way to standing. Excellent. Can you come all the way back down without using your hands? Good job. Let's try it one more time. All the way up. And all the way down. Excellent. Well, we're going to journey out to our kayak. So let's get on our bicycle. Can you roll onto your back and bring your knees into your chest? And then let's start to cycle our legs here, moving slow to start. See if you can go a little faster. Ruby, my little puppy here, is here to help me. Maybe you can bring your hands behind your head and lift your head off the mat, go a little faster. So we're coming to a hill. Good, let's get up to the top of the hill. Faster, faster, faster. Whew, breathing in, breathing out and then slow it all the way down. We're cruising down the hill and coming towards the river. So bring your knees into your chest, rock yourself up. Can you get all the way to your feet? Plant your feet, reach up to the sky and bring your hands to your heart. Excellent job here. So it's still a little bit chilly. What shall we do to bring out the sun? Why not take some sun salutations? So let's start and root down through our feet. Find your mountain pose, arms by your sides. Take a big breath, reach up to the sun. Breathe out and roll down to the grass. Breathe in, look forward and then find your strong plank. Stepping your feet all the way back, lower right to your belly. Let's come up through our snake, our cobra, lifting your heart off the mat. Breathe out and roll down. And then tuck your toes, find your downward dog. So stretching the hips up, moving your tail from side to side, maybe walking your dog out. Or as my kids like to go and do, maybe your dog's doing a little pee pee, lifting one leg up and then the other. Good, and then look to your hands, set your feet all the way to the top, breathe in, look forward. Breathe out, look down to the grass, reaching up to the sun. Bringing your hands to your heart. Take a big breath in. Out through the mouth, exhale. Let's try again. Breathe in, reach up. Breathe out, reach down to the grass, look forward. Step yourself right back into your front. Lower yourself all the way to your belly. Roll yourself up through your cobra. And then 
roll yourself back into your downward dog. Let's take a few breaths here, downward dog. Stretch back. Strong legs, strong arms. And then look to your hands, step your feet to the top. Reach up halfway. Lower down, exhale. Reach up to the sun and bring your hands back to your heart. Good job, the sun is out now, it's warm on our skin. Take a few breaths in and feel that here. Breathe in, breathe out. It's a beautiful day, so let's get on our kayak. Are you ready? Find your yoga chair. We're gonna sit down into our boat. Can you go a little deeper? Strong legs, deeper still. Good, all the way down into your kayak. Excellent job. So knees are bent, feet are out in front. Let's begin to row down the river here. Reaching up. And then as you breathe out, bring the fists towards your belly. Nice, strong center, breathe in. Rowing your boat, breathe out. Breathe in, reach. Breathe out. Just a little further. Using that power of your breath here. Let's do one more inhale. And exhale, let's cruise a little, bring the feet together, make a wide diamond and just start to circle your body. Cruising down the river. And on each side of the river, we can see that beautiful golden marsh grass. Let's go circling opposite way. And then cruising a little bit further, we can see up ahead a beautiful, tall, white heron, and he's dipping his beak into the water. So I want you to cross your legs, hands on your head. Can you take that challenge coming all the way to standing? And then unwind your feet, step your feet a little bit apart for triangle pose. So this is gonna make our heron here. Reach your wings out. And then imagine that front fingers, those front hands are your beaks. So we're gonna reach forward, and as we breathe out, we're gonna dive that beak into the water to grab our fish, finding our yoga triangle. Good, keep steady with your breath. Let's breathe up, reach that beak to the sky, and then take another big dive forward. Good, then reach yourself up. Let's try the other side. So other hand is your beak. You're gonna reach forward and then breathe out, dive in for that fish. Breathe in and reach up. Breathe out and reach down. Let's hold it here. Strong through the legs. Maybe look up towards that top hand. And then rising all the way to center. Can you take a hop of your feet right to the top of your mat and maybe give yourself a shake out? Now also on the sides of the river here in the marshland, there are these beautiful tall oak trees, really, really old oak trees. So I want you to imagine that your foot is the roots of the oak. Root it down into your mat, spread your toes. And then bring the other foot up into tree pose. You can go below the knee or you can go all the way up into the inner thigh. Excellent work. So we're reaching your arms out like branches. And what do we see here in Georgia on the trees? We see the Spanish moss. See if you can sway a little like Spanish moss dripping from the trees, blowing in the wind. Great balance. Maybe you can reach your branches all the way up to the sky. And then breathe out and let it go. Let's shake it out. Good, other side. So root down as though those roots are going right into the grass. Bring your foot up into tree pose and then reach out your branches. Spanish moss again is dripping from your arms, those big trunks of the tree here. Maybe take a breath and reach your branches up. Maybe wiggle out through the fingers. Nice and steady. Good, and then reach the feet all the way down. Shake it out. 
Hey, shall we play a game here? Okay, so we're ready to play a little game. It's called Shake, Freeze, Melt. So I want you to imagine again, you're like that oak tree and you're shaking your leaves and your branches and your Spanish moss. Whenever I say the word shake, whenever I say the word freeze, you're gonna freeze in whatever pose you like. When I say melt, you're gonna melt all the way down to the mat. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Shake. Freeze, melt, excellent, let's go all the way up, let's try it one more time, stretch up, shake, freeze, oh, oh, and I melt, oh, excellent job. So let's get back on our boat, feet out, just rowing your boat gently down the stream, finding your breath. And we're gonna cruise all the way to the side of the river so we can take a rest. So let's bring the soles of the feet together, just gently cruising in, opposite way. And then let's climb out of our boat and just crisscross our legs, sitting on the side of the riverbank. Excellent. Bring your hands onto your heart and just take a moment. How do you feel? So notice the energy of your breath. Maybe your heart is beating here, feeling nice and awake and alive. And I want you to fast forward as though it's coming towards the sunset. And it's coming towards nighttime here. We're going to create a little campfire. So reach your arms up. You can open your eyes. And then let's put those logs on the fire. Just reaching forward. Maybe you can get your head all the way down. Reach up again. And breathe out. Let's put another nice big log on the fire. And now the fire is lit. And what do we like to do when we're in front of a campfire? Well, I'll tell you what my kids like to do. They like to roast some s'mores. So I want you to reach your arms out and just start to twist as though you're toasting marshmallows over the campfire. Maybe you can circle the wrists, get those marshmallows nice and gooey. Excellent work. And then draw the marshmallows towards you as though you've got them in a nice s'more sandwich here. Close your eyes and breathe deeply in. Imagine you can smell ah, toasted marshmallow here. Really delicious. Take a couple more deep, full breaths. I can almost taste it here. One more big breath. And then just reach your arms up and take a big stretch. Roll your shoulders back and down. Great work. Stretch your legs out and let's get ready for a little rest. So we're going to reach up and then reach our arms forward. Don't worry if you can't reach your toes. Just grab hold of your legs, whatever you can. Stretching out through the backs of the legs. And the sun has started to set here. So we're gonna light a little candle so we can still see. So let's roll ourselves onto our back. Lift the legs up to the sky. And can you lift your hips up into candle pose? Maybe holding onto the back body here. And look up to your feet. Can you wiggle the toes like flames of your candle? Great work, breathing nice and deep. Really nice balance here. And then we're gonna roll our body all the way down. Take our knees into our chest, take our arms wide and just take a nice little twist over to the side. You can take one hand onto your leg just to help support you here. Nice steady breaths. And then roll your knees back to center, roll them all the way over to the other side. Feels really good on the body. 
and then roll yourself back to center. Can you squeeze your knees into your belly? Lift your head up as though you're creating a tiny little present here. Small, small, small. Squeeze yourself in. And then reach your legs out. Reach your arms up like a starfish. Spread your fingers wide for a moment and point out through the feet. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And then see if you can relax your body. Okay, let's try that again. So stretch out through the toes. Stretch the fingers like starfish. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And relax. Good. Last time, stretch, stretch, stretch and release. Ah, let it go. And you're going to come into your final yoga rest. So you're going to stay lying on your back. Maybe get a teddy friend or get a nice blanket or a pillow to help you relax. So you're going to stay on your back. I'll come to seated so I can help you, guide you here. So as you close your eyes, I want you to imagine you're lying just on the banks of that river, that marshland. And beneath your body is this soft green grass. And as you breathe out, feel your body get heavy from the top of your head, the shoulders, your back, your hips, legs, feet, the whole of the back body getting heavy into that soft green grass. Feel your arms, your hands, your fingers, heavy, soft into that grass. Imagine above you that tall oak tree with the Spanish moss gently floating in the breeze. Instill the warmth of the day on your skin. Any thoughts, any little stories that you might have, any little worries that are in your mind, imagine them just floating up and up and up into the sky and moving like clouds far, far away. So we have no worries, nothing to stress about here. As you breathe and relax, maybe your body can get a little heavier, melting like that toasted marshmallow on the fire. Heavy and relaxed. Can I allow you just to enjoy that feeling? relaxation just for another few moments. Rest if you can. Nothing to do here. Nowhere that we need to be. You've done such a good job at resting there. Excellent. Start to wake the body up here. So wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Maybe take a good big breath in and then stretch your arms out. Stretch your legs out as though you're waking up first thing in the morning. Maybe take a big yawn. Good. And then draw your knees into your chest. See if you can roll yourself up to seated. And join me here with our hands to our heart centre, closing our eyes, noticing how you feel. Do you feel a little bit more relaxed here and happy? Let's take a deep breath in. 
deep breath out. Namaste. Thank you for joining me on our yoga adventures through the marshlands. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day. Namaste.